So this is our color gate program. Once installed and set up, you'll have these three queues right here, our print queue, rip queue, and archive queue. All of our jobs will be stored in our archive queue. Once we're ready to prep the image, we can drop it into our rip queue and our print queue sends that information to your printer or to the file that you've created to be able to put on a flash drive and carry it over to your printer. Now we're going to want to find an image that we can go ahead and test print. If you don't have an image ready, you can head over to ricodtg.com slash downloads and under images, you'll find a good list of images ready to download and print. Quick tip, we can go ahead and shrink these queues since the rip and print queue tend to not have so many files in them. But our archive queue, our files will stack up. Once we have our file, we can go ahead and drop it into the program and we'll see our presets. Now our RI1000 preset is gonna just be blank in case we wanna go ahead and mess with settings ourselves, test stuff out and see how it goes for us. But if we're ready to print, we can either pick a black color or a white t-shirt. Our black setting is gonna knock out black out of our image. Our white setting is gonna knock out white out of our image. And our color is gonna go ahead and include both black and white to get that full effect out of your print. For this specific image, we're gonna pick black. Once the image is completely loaded in, we'll go ahead and get a preview from the image and we'll have four different views to see it in. Our first preview is the document. It will show you just your specific image in its original size and format. Our document with special colors shows us small red lines where the ink is being printed out. And if we notice those small areas where there is black, but the program is not using black in those areas. Our third option is the media preview, and that is position and size of the image in relation to the platen. Our medium platen is 18 inches by 12.6 inches. And our last one is our printer output. This shows us how the image prints out of the printer. Right now, what we're gonna wanna do is change the position of this specific image. Now we could do that by either right-clicking and hitting settings, or we could double click on the headdress name of the file. And we're gonna go ahead and jump over to job. Under job, we can go ahead and change the scale of our image, meaning size. We can scale it to a specific height width or percentage and if we have proportional checked it's going to go ahead and adjust all the values that we need so if we put it at 10 inches high it's adjusting the width and the scale if i put 13 inches high width and scale and we can do that to any of the numbers So once we have the size of the image selected, we can go ahead and adjust the offset of our image. Now the offset is just the position that we're pushing the image to. And we'll do that by selecting an amount of inches that we want to, that image pushed. Now we can do this automatic by selecting either left, center, or right. We'll go ahead and select center for this image. Our Y is the distance from the top of the platen and down. So we'll wanna push the image away from the top of the platen about an inch and a half. Once we have all of our settings selected, we wanna make sure to press okay. If we press cancel or the X, none of our settings will be saved. We'll hit okay. All those settings are applied and now our image is ready to print. If we like our color, if we like the position, if we like the size, 
then we can grab this image and we can do one of two things we can drop it into the rip queue to get it prepared or we could drop it into the print queue for it to rip and print right away we'll go ahead and drop it into the print queue depending on the size of your image your program might take a little bit longer to rip the image but once it's done it'll head over to the print queue we'll see that percentage start to move which means either our program is saving the file correctly or the image is being sent over to the printer successfully we'll start fast forwarding to 100 percent and we're going to go ahead and head over to our folder where we have that file we can grab this file if we're printing to a flash drive drop it onto that flash drive carry it over to the printer and print or if we have our printer connected to our computer or to our router we can go ahead and check in our prints area and our image should be showing a preview on the screen and that's it